Good evening. Tonight we journey to Canada's north, a place of stark beauty and strategic importance. Here, a new chapter is unfolding for the Royal Canadian Air Force. Enter the Saab Gripen e a fighter jet that's turning heads and exceeding expectations. Canadian pilots, among the world's best, are putting this Swedish marvel through its paces. We've witnessed the trials at remote air bases, where the Gripen E faces Canada's toughest conditions. The mission to determine if this jet can defend one of the world's largest, harshest air spaces. With Canada's current fleet aging, the stakes are high. Now, the focus is on performance, not politics. Early reports from pilots are glowing, citing agility, advanced tech, and suitability for Canada's unique needs. This isn't just about hardware. It's about Canada's future defense posture. Tonight, we bring you exclusive access pilot insights, data and footage from these critical evaluations. Is the Gripen E the answer to Canada's search for a new guardian of its skies? The story begins here, in the cold, clear air of the high north. Why does this story matter? It's about more than a new plane. It's about sovereignty and security. Canada's vast airspace, stretching deep into the Arctic, is becoming increasingly strategic. As a founding member of NATO and NORAD, Canada must have the right tools to defend its territory. A Swedish jet in Canadian service would signal a shift, performance and value over tradition. The Gripen E is known as the Smart Fighter, offering top-tier capability without the sky-high price tag. If Canada chooses it, other nations may follow, shaking up the global market. The Arctic is changing. Melting ice opens new shipping lanes and resources, drawing global attention. Canada's claim to the north is contested. Projecting air power here is essential. The right jet must thrive in extreme cold from remote airfields and cover vast distances. That's why these pilot reports on the Gripen E are so significant. This decision will shape Canadian air power for decades. It will impact defense budgets, industry and alliances. The Gripenee's strong showing has redefined what's possible for Canada's Air Force. Canada's search for a new fighter has been a long, complex journey. The aging CF-18 Hornets, in service since the 1980s, are overdue for replacement. Rising maintenance costs and outdated tech make the need urgent. The process began with a controversial commitment to the F-35, but concerns over cost and transparency led to a new competition. The Future Fighter Capability Project invited top contenders, the F-35, Boeing Super Hornet, and Saab Gripen E. Each was evaluated for capability, cost, and economic benefits to Canada. After years of analysis, the field narrowed to the F-35 and Gripen E, two very different philosophies. The F-35 offers stealth, the Gripen E, agility and sustainability. The final choice, stealth or operational flexibility, that's why these hands-on pilot evaluations are crucial. They're the final decisive piece of the puzzle. How did Canada test the Gripen E with the most demanding trials imaginable? The RCIF took the jet to Cold Lake, Alberta and deep Arctic bases facing brutal winter conditions. Tests included rapid scrambles, long-range patrols and operations from short, icy runways. The Gripen's robust design, a legacy of Sweden's defense needs, was put to the test. Pilots ran complex combat simulations, evaluating radar, electronic warfare, and data sharing capabilities. Sensor fusion and networked operations were key focus areas. The evaluation wasn't just about speed or altitude, it was about real-world sustainability. Every aspect was measured fuel use, maintenance hours, turnaround times. These logistics are what sustain air campaigns. The data from these trials would reveal if the Gripen E truly fits Canada's needs. What do the pilots say? Their feedback is candid and overwhelmingly positive. One veteran called the Gripen E a revelation, like stepping from a classic car into a Tesla. Pilots praise the jet's situational awareness and intuitive systems, letting them focus on tactics, not button pushing. The Gripen's agility and handling in dogfights impressed even the most experienced flyers. It's a pure joy to fly, said one pilot. You can push it hard and it stays predictable and stable. The advanced cockpit, with its wide area touchscreen, was a standout. Customizable, user-friendly, 
and fast in high stress situations. Transitioning to the Gripen is quick thanks to its modern interface. Arctic trials confirmed the jet's cold weather reliability. We operated in conditions that would ground other fighters, a senior officer noted. The Gripen started up every time, even in extreme cold. Its built-in auxiliary power unit meant no need for bulky ground equipment. Quick refueling and rapid turnarounds on icy strips were routine. For defending the north, pilots called this a game changer. The Gripen E's performance in Canada's harshest environments won over its toughest critics. The pilot praise is matched by hard data. The Gripen E's operational cost per flight hour is under $10,000, far less than its rivals. For Canada, that means huge savings over the fleet's lifetime. The jet's sortie generation rate is impressive refueled and rearmed for air-to-air -air missions in under 10 minutes. This efficiency means a smaller fleet can do more, maximizing value. The Gripen sensor suite exceeded expectations, with the Raven ESA radar tracking multiple targets at long range. Its electronic warfare system proved highly effective in simulated combat. The IRST system allows silent tracking of enemy aircraft by heat signature. Range and payload were also strong, the Gripen E can carry advanced missiles and patrol vast distances without refueling. Its larger internal fuel load is a key advantage for Arctic missions. The data confirms the Gripen E can cover Canada's immense airspace from coast to coast to Arctic. It's a force multiplier for the RCAF. If Canada selects the Gripen E, the impact will be profound. Saab's proposal promises thousands of high-tech jobs and a final assembly line in Canada. This would make Canada a regional hub for Gripen support and production. Politically, it signals independence. Choosing the best fit, not just a traditional supplier. It could deepen ties with Sweden and diversify Canada's alliances. Lower operating costs free up billions for training, equipment and quality of life for military families. More affordable flying hours mean better trained pilots and higher morale. The Gripen's ability to operate from remote northern strips redefines Arctic defense. Real-world footage shows the jet landing on short, snow-cleared runways, something few modern fighters can do. This is a fundamental shift in how Canada projects power and defends its sovereignty. International defense experts are taking notice. Dr. Alistair Finch calls the Gripen E a smarter approach balancing survivability, agility, and networked warfare. Retired U.S. Colonel Jennifer Reed highlights its practicality. 90% of the capability for half the cost. The Gripen software architecture allows rapid, affordable upgrades, keeping it future-proof. Analysts say the Gripen E of 2035 will be far more capable than today's, with upgrades delivered in months, not years. A Canadian Gripen purchase would validate Saab's philosophy and pressure competitors. If the Gripen can win in Canada, it can win anywhere, says Colonel Reed. It would prove there's a high-performance alternative to American jets. The Gripen E is changing the rules of the game. Its success in Canada could reshape the global fighter market. The world is watching to see if Canada will set a new standard. The Gripen E is more than a contender. It's a disruptor. The tests are done. The data is in. The pilots have spoken. The Gripen E has surpassed Canada's demanding requirements in nearly every area. Now, the decision rests with Ottawa. It's a choice that will define Canada's air power for decades, amid new Arctic threats and shifting alliances. Pilots believe the Gripen E gives them the edge to secure Canada's skies, smartly and sustainably. Will Canada stick with tradition or embrace a new philosophy of air power? The world is watching. What do you think? Should Canada choose the Gripen E? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more stories like this. For now, thank you for watching. Good night.